Over the next three videos, I'm going to show you guys how you can read and write from and to your Notion pages using the Notion API. In this first video, we're talking about authentication. I'm going to limit each video to five minutes so we focus on exactly what you need to get started with the Notion API. If these videos helped you out, definitely drop a like. We just hit 100 subs. I'm super excited about that. And we have a bunch of new content dropping to help you become a better engineer. No extra chit chat, no garbage, no filler. We're just talking about what you need to get started. Let's code. All right, and let's start our five minute timer. As you can see here, I'm in Visual Studio Code. I've got an empty directory, create a main.py. And we're gonna be looking for a couple things here. We want a Notion token and we are gonna want a Notion page ID. We want a client library, so we're gonna use a wrapper library that's got 100% test coverage. It's gonna make things easier for us. It's gonna make it easier to get started. So all the links will be in the description. We're just gonna go ahead and grab this and install. So let me run this. I'm using Python 3 here, and let's rock and roll. So let's get that installed, and then let's there we go, get the import there. And next thing we're gonna do is create our main function, which is going to get us started here. And in terms of the code, what we're gonna to wanna to do is create a Notion client here. So you can see we're generating our client and we're gonna pass in our Notion token. So that'll be our start. Let me pass, let me create a, um, you know, classic uh, Python starting block there. Now we're going to need to generate our Notion token and get our Notion page ID. So the Notion token is what allows us to integrate with the Notion API. It's how Notion knows that we are a valid application. So let's obtain this. Let's go over to the Notion API website, developers.notion.com. We're gonna hit view my integrations at the top right. If you're not logged in, you'll wanna log in. You can see I have a couple of integrations here. You're probably going to create a new integration. So I have one created already for this and I'm gonna click the Notion in five and all I'm gonna do here is click show and copy my internal integration token. So I've got the token. Now I'm going to paste it here. That's gonna be our token. So after you have the token, you can now officially validate your application um, against the Notion API. So that's step one. Step two is gonna be getting the page that you want to interact with. So this is gonna be your Notion page ID, and we're gonna grab a test page here that I created. Um, we're gonna do two things. First thing you need to do is authenticate your app. So I'm gonna look for Notion N5, and this allows your page to interact with your new application that you're building. So I'm gonna hit this, Hit confirm and so now you can see I have a new connection there with uh, read content, insert content, update content permissions. Great. So next up, we're going to hit copy link here. This is how we're going to obtain the page ID. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste this. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is grab just the ending bits here. The ending bits is what's gonna be your actual page ID. So I'm gonna cut that out, paste that here. And now we have the Notion page ID, and now we have our Notion token. So that's everything we're gonna to need to authenticate with the Notion API. So let's go ahead and let's make our first request. What I'm gonna do here is call client pages retrieve, and then I'm just gonna pass in the Notion page ID. So you can see here we have our Notion token, allows us to create a Notion client. And then with the client object, we're gonna call pages.retrieve and pass in the page that we wanna retrieve. And this is gonna give a response. So I'm gonna say page equals, I'll call it page response. And now I'm gonna to wanna to print this out. So I'm gonna use a pretty print here and print that there. And let's import pretty print. So let's do that there. And now guys, you should be able to run your first Notion API integration. So let's go ahead, crank this open. Python 3 main uh, object retrieve. That's because I spelled it wrong. Let's go ahead and fix that quickly. Save and let's clear and run again. There it is guys. So you should be able to check out your API information and you know, this is all the data on my Notion page. So that's really cool. Five minutes is up. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video.